I t wow, wow, I didn't realize I needed better lighting. Thank you, phone. So I totally forgot that I had not talked about these Charlotte Tilbury products at all in my using not so faves. So Iced Mesmerized Mona Lisa, this annoys me. It can be tricky to apply. And then these color chameleons as well. I am today wearing Mona Lisa. I'm gonna swatch them in a second. We're, we're, we're gonna get there, we're gonna get there, trust me. And in the inner corners, I've got the champagne diamonds. I really like how it looks. This guy doesn't really blend out quite as much as I would like. So I'm going to snap this so that you can see me and we will go from there. All right, so you can see me. So that's Mona Lisa. It is blended a little bit, but you can definitely see where it's set down before I was able to get it blended. It's a thing. I actually really like how it looks behind my glasses, though, in terms of just a once over and I have it underneath as well. It is really great. So that is the CT Eyes to Mesmerize. It is a cream shadow. This sets down quickly, but not as quickly as the color chameleons, which again, I'm going to show you in just a second. So I was using a just a small detail brush to get it where I wanted it. And then I kind of just went over with a fluffy brush. My eyes are hooded. So it can be really difficult once I blend it out. If it moves around at all, I kind of do get in the very inner crease, I will get a bald spot because they're hooded. That's where the oil gathers. It's something I'm used to and you don't really see it when I blink. So it doesn't bother me all that much. I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger and show you. You end up with a lot of it and that's kind of the problem. The really light shades are nice it's super duper creamy and if you hit it fast you can really blend it out and it just kind of leaves this nice little haze but you can see where I did that original trail it does not like I like to put it where I want it and where I know it's gonna be because it just makes it easier we're gonna take a little bit more a lot a bit more just to show kind of the build buildability here and this is just using a tapping motion as opposed to a smooshing motion. And of course, when you apply it with, with a brush, it's different. But I mean, it can get really, really dark and opaque if you, if you want it to. If you kind of just want a wash of color, I don't really think I'd recommend Mona Lisa. I think the lighter shades look nice. Uh, Samantha Ravendahl has talked about those. Other people will say that they've tried these and they're patchy. The lighter shades really seem easier to work with. And that's mostly because you're not really trying to hide the skin tone underneath. And it just has this beautiful shimmer to it. I'm trying to catch what's left of the light from the window to show you. It, it looks really nice. And in person, not on camera, it looks, it looks much better than it would seem. So I have complained about the amber haze before. You get like a minute to work with these, maybe less, maybe 30 seconds to a minute. So I'll give you just a line. It's a really pretty color and it actually, if, if I sharpen it, works great as an eyeliner. I'm going to put another line next to it. Ooh, that was not, there we go. Just to show you how you can kind of blend it. It doesn't, like it, you see how I started to get to the top? That had already dried and it leaves that demarcation line. You put this where you want it and you don't mess with it. I have watched the Charlotte Tilbury videos. I don't know what magic she has on her fingertips to make this blend. It does not blend like that for me. I thought at first maybe this amber haze was kind of a dud and maybe a little bit dried out. So maybe it was drying down much faster because I seem to get a little bit more forgiveness from the champagne diamonds that I have on the inner corner today. I really like it. It just gives, this is for blue eyes. So this is more for brown eyes. I have flecks of brown and green, so I enjoy this amber haze. I would love it in, in an actual powder form. I think it's quite beautiful. Color the color chameleon for champagne diamonds is for blue eyes. 
It's got glitter, but it actually sticks to your eye again. I mean, it's the same thing. It's got the same dry down. This, however, is a little bit creamier than the Amber Haze. I'm just trying to move closer. So we're gonna, I'll do two lines. I'll do one. So there she is. The lighting really isn't gonna do her justice. She is quite beautiful. We'll do two. I'll give a little bit of an extra just so I can show you. This one can kind of go bald. If you're not careful, it can be a little stickier when you build it up. But when she's blended out, that is that is really what you get. And it's hard to tell because of how light it is. This doesn't want to focus, but that, I mean, just the glitter or this by itself on your eyes looks fantastic. I As hard as it might be to work with, I really love the look that this gives me. I would repurchase this one. I would not repurchase the Amber Haze. And I probably will not be repurchasing Mona Lisa. This is probably something once I'm done with it, or either it's gonna go off or I'm gonna use it, and it's done, I'm I'm done. I have brown shadows. I can achieve this look with, with far more blendability and far more forgiving, and far more forgiveness, I should say, than I get with the actual product itself. And then just to kind of show dry down, we'll go back to this first guy here. I mean, you can see me pulling on the skin. There's there's my finger. That's what was on it from when I did this guy earlier and some remnants of this guy. But that, I mean, he did not move. He did not move. And same thing with this. It really doesn't... You might get a little bit of movement because of how I packed it on. And even then, it, it, looked, it looked here because of the shadow that it moved. It really doesn't. So once it is in place, it is, it, it's it's going to be in place and it's going to be in place all day. I do love that about these. In terms of longevity, Charlotte Tilbury did a bang up job of, of getting that going. And as you can see, again, with, with the shade of my glasses, it I like how it looks in reality. So I do, I do enjoy it. It's just, it's not a favorite. It's not something that I would intentionally repurchase. Could I change my mind about that? You know, could I, after this is gone months later, be like, I really miss that product? Potentially, yeah, there's always that potential. So we will see. I'm going to add this on to the draft that I am doing where I am slowly working through the things that I don't exactly love to see if maybe it's a use issue, maybe it's a tone issue. Is it something that needs to go out of my collection? Is it something that's going to stay in my collection and keep rolling from there? But I think these are all staying. I mean... They're passable and I am finding ways to use them. So I will keep demonstrating that. Catch you guys in the next one. Also wearing some Charlotte Tilbury today. I think I will cut this piece out. So I'm just get quiet for a second as I show. But I am wearing the at the desk part of the Pillow Talk palette with a little bit of the Champagne Diamonds color chameleon because it just needed something more. It's okay. I think what it is, is it's too tame for me. So for liner, I used my Amber Haze from Charlotte Tilbury. I actually, I like it better as a liner than I do as a shadow. I wish that the camera could pick this up how it looks in person. It doesn't look as good on camera as it does in person. In person, I really like it. It looks, it looks really neat. I put this on with the lightest shade and the deepest shade from my Easy Eye palette. And I just, so black doesn't always look great, but I wanted, when I want something different than brown, or any variation or iteration of brown, I find that the, the Amber Haze has enough greeniness to it to just do something very different and very nice to the eyes. Let's see if I can distance more. So that is a way to use a product that I don't necessarily enjoy as intended, but works great and because it holds on so very well that it works wonderfully as a liner if I keep it sharpened. So ta-da!